Somebody once said it's better to be lucky than to be good, but it's best to be both. I mean, look at Gravedigger. Gravedigger struggles here today in Anaheim, but suddenly here we are in the championship round, and Lyle Hancock has got himself a shot at the title. And Torres, Torres had a disastrous first round, but emerged as the fast loser. So now Torres has a chance for that same prize. It's Torres against the Gravedigger. Right now, for all the play-by-play, -play, let's go to Joe Lowe. Joe? Well, this track certainly has taken its toll on the competitors. Gravedigger and Lyle Hancock will face the Taurus in this final. I gave it the best I could the round before. We heard the transmission, and, uh, I mean, I knew I had to get a jump on him to get out there even close to him, but I just didn't have enough to roll her out in the last gear. He bade me, and then at the end of the course, he broke his truck, so we're going to get one more chance to come back. Well, now, you say you broke a transmission on the run. Uh, are you going to be able to make those repairs in time? No, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to run it a lot harder in first and second gear than I normally do, like kind of buzz the motor up. Um, I've lost drive gear, so it kind of shortens me to get make all the way to the end of the track. Not very encouraging words from Lyle Hancock of the Grave Digger. But, you know, Jackie Wilman has not been doing extremely well so far today. He's had a lot of handling problems. I've not had a real good night. I come back as a fast loser, and then I got to jump on Carolina Crusher the last run, and I'm just glad to be in the final. Well, is it the track that's causing the problems for you? Well, there's a little bit of the track, and I haven't driven this truck very much, and I'm just getting used to it and just trying to do my best. So the question is, can Jack Wilman hold on, or will the Grave Digger take it all in this devil track in Anaheim? The Grave Digger is staged. Taurus is staged. It's showtime! And Taurus with a hold shot and a half. The Grave Digger just can't catch up. And the win goes to Jackie Wilman and Taurus. Everybody was having trouble here in Anaheim. We heard Lyle Hancock say he had transmission problems, but Jack Wilman said, I can do it. That's why this guy is the world champion. He still has those maneuvering problems he suffered in that lane all day long. But he comes up with the win. An incredible, an incredible day of racing in Anaheim. The Grave Digger taking his time on the start. He just didn't have that first year. But, you know, he was the lesser injured of the two. David Morris, an equalizer, could not even answer the call. At least the Grave Digger got out there. And he, he did have a pretty good run. But nothing compared to the incredible run that Jackie Wilman was able to put down with the Taurus. One more time. Over the first set of cars. Way before Digger can get rolling. And this is where Jack Wilman won it. Right on the hole shot. A tough break for Lyle Hancock. He does get runner-up money and the points and the championship in Anaheim goes to Jackie Wilman and Torres. I think both trucks are not running up to par, Grave Digger or mine. The transmission's out of them both, so it wasn't a real spectacular one, but we pulled it off. Well, you said it was going to take a matter of just putting the throttle down on this thing, and buddy, you did. Yeah, I give it all it had, and I got a little bit squirrely in between the cars, but ended up pulling it off. Well, it seems as though luck has run its course on Lyle Hancock, the gravedigger handily defeated, and our champion here in Anaheim is Jackie Wilman Jr. in Taurus. Congratulations to Jackie. And stay tuned, because when Monster Truck Challenge returns, oh, do we have a pleasant surprise for you. Welcome back, everybody, to Monster Truck Challenge. Now, when you go to see a monster truck show, one of the neat things is you get a little bit more than just the monster trucks. For example, here in Anaheim was a daredevil, a motorcycle daredevil by the name of Ernie Adams. Ernie jumped 10 monster trucks with his motorcycle. Don't take my word for it. Take the action, courtesy of our Joe Lowe. Thank you, Ken. And before we go on, let me say right off that Ernie Adams is a stunt technologist out of the state of Tennessee he works with a team a team that devises the stunts and then figures out not only the angle of the ramps before they construct them but also the speed of the vehicle they take his weight into consideration a lot of stuff goes into this kids this is not something this guy just comes out and does a lot of work a lot of time and effort go into this 
He must attain a speed of 45 miles an hour to successfully jump the 10 monsters. And there you can see on his trial run, a problem right away. Coming out of the tunnel onto the dirt. The tires go a little sideways. That is a problem. He stops. He'll talk to his stunt coordinator. Ernie's goal in life to be the record holder for the most vehicles jump, indoors or outdoors. Last minute check. This is going to be the run. Folks, don't take this time to leave. Stay glued to your sets because what you're about to see has never, ever been done. Ernie Adams, the young stuntman out of Tennessee, set to go and jump 10 monster trucks here in Anaheim. He comes out of the tunnel. Here he comes. The crowd is waving him on. Up. Over. Woo. Into the boxes. The run over. Is he all right? Boxes flying everywhere. He's moving. He's fogged up. He takes the helmet off. And the crowd applauds as we view it one more time. Ten monster trucks in Anaheim. Ernie Adams. Ernie standing by right now with our own Dan Danner. An incredible jump, buddy. Uh, over ten monster trucks. Uh, first time down that ramp, though, it was a wave off. What happened? Well, when we're coming in, it's, I'm coming through a gate outside. So you watch the speedometer, and then when you get to the curve, I'm paying attention to Richard, and if he waves me off, it means I'm not going fast enough, so I don't even have to look at the speedometer. So that's why I went by. And the second one, it's getting ready to rain here. We wanted to get this thing done. We knew we set it up safe. However, I came up like seven feet short, and when you hit the safety section, that's what catapulted me up. So I was lucky to even stay on the bike. Uh, but the boxes, they 